Today we're going to be talking about internuclear ophthalmoplegia. This means plegia, weakness, of opho, the eye, nuclear, and the two nuclei that we're talking about are the sixth nerve nucleus, which you heard about before if you watched the horizontal gaze palsy video. The sixth nerve nucleus talks to the contralateral third nerve nucleus, the medial rectus muscle in this case, via a fascicle which is longitudinal and medial, which we call the medial longitudinal fasciculus. The sixth nerve nucleus lives in the pons. It must talk to the contralateral third nerve nucleus, which lives in the midbrain. So the midbrain has three, and the pons has six. This connecting point between the sixth and the third nerve nuclei is called the medial longitudinal fasciculus. And so if you disrupt the medial longitudinal fasciculus, you will be disconnecting the horizontal gaze input to the contralateral medial rectus muscle. And so what that looks like clinically is, if these are your eyes, if you attempt to look this direction to the left, this is to the right, if you have an MLF lesion on the right, right medial longitudinal fasciculus, you won't be able to adduct very well. The adduction will be decreased on the side of the MLF lesion, and that is gonna cause the abducting eye, the left eye, to get nystagmus. So there'll be a dissociated horizontal abducting nystagmus on attempted gaze to the left in a patient who has a right medial longitudinal fasciculus lesion from a right internuclear ophthalmoplegia. So clinically, a right INO has an adduction deficit, it can be partial or complete, associated with a dissociated horizontal abducting eye nystagmus on contralateral gaze. This constellation of findings we call the internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Because the lesion could be in the medial longitudinal fasciculus, anywhere from the pons all the way to the midbrain, one of the ways that we can try and differentiate whether the lesion is midbrain, a rostral lesion, or pontine, a caudal lesion, is by making this medial rectus muscle fire using different stimuli. We can stimulate the third nerve nucleus, and in this case, the medial rectus muscle, to converge by having the convergence center, the near center, talk directly to the third nerve. That convergence center lives somewhere in the thalamomesencephalic junction, so it is way rostral. So if someone has an INO and they cannot adduct the right eye, but they can converge, that means we can make the three fire. And that means if they can converge, that the lesion is probably in the pons, and that is caudal. If, however, they can't converge, then maybe the lesion is more rostral at the thalamomesencephalic junction. And so we can differentiate in an internuclear ophthalmoplegia whether we are rostral or caudal involvement of the medial longitudinal fasciculus by testing the near reaction. If the convergence is intact, pick pawns.